Today, propellers remain a very efficient means of aircraft propulsion, and their performance is superior to pure jets or turbojets at low subsonic speeds and medium altitudes. The advent of composites has enabled lighter, stronger blades with improved aerofoil sections to be manufactured. Nowadays, propellers are not only used to produce thrust, like these giant 21 feet diameter examples, but also to absorb energy to generate electrical power. Wind farm propeller diameters can be as much as 60 meters. What next? Who can tell? Could those who believed that jet propulsion would sound the propeller's death knell have envisaged an aircraft like this? With propellers producing lift for vertical takeoff, then turned through 90 degrees to provide thrust for conventional flight. Or like this, the prop fan, designed to satisfy the demand for greater fuel economy and reduced noise footprints. Propellers are older than powered flight, yet like the aircraft they propel, their development will continue to surprise, spurred by the application of new technologies. Strangely, since the birth of powered flight, one question remains unresolved. Should propellers push, pull, or do both? Clearly, the matter will be the subject for aerodynamic debate for years to come.